Now, immunisation. Uh, a measles outbreak in Hamilton and Auckland uh, have caused quite a consternation. And the big thing is, this is a scary thing, that vaccinations appear to be declining in New Zealand. I don't know why, but what do you think, David Clark? Do you think that vaccinations in Aotearoa should be mandatory? I don't think they should be mandatory, Wallace. But I can't understand, as a father with two kids, why anyone would not get their kids immunised. Um, well, it's, it's the, the stories that you hear about people who say later, I wish I'd got my kids immunised that are really tragic. There's a job of education to do here, I think. Uh, and, you know, there is, there is a, a real cost so in getting you, your kids immunised. You, you you why do you think people don't? Why, sorry? Why do you think people don't? I think there's a real cost in getting it done. You've actually got to take time off work for many parents to get your kids there. You've got to make arrangements. You've got to deal with grumpy kids for a day afterwards. There are, there are issues. It's not straightforward. Right. And that's why people don't get it done. But they really should. It matters. Joanne, what about you? You've worked in the health sector, haven't you? I, yes, I, I believe. Have. So what do, you, do you think that vaccinations should be mandatory in Aotearoa? No, I don't. I agree with David. I don't think that they should be mandatory. Goes... In Australia, they've almost wiped, in fact, well, they've wiped Australia. measles that's Australia. out. Yes, but here in New Zealand, we give people the choice. That's what, it, that's what we're all about. Freedom of choice and of our personal responsibility. That's up as long as the parents have the right information that they can make an informed did you decision. Vaccinate your, did you vaccinate yes, your I children? Yes, I vaccinated my children and my grandchildren are vaccinated as well. All right. What about you, Honey? I mean, the Northland is one of the rates where uh, uh, non-vaccinations are fairly high and uh, diseases or issues like um, smallpox, measles, rubella, is an issue in Northland as well. Yeah. What do you think? What do you, you think know, about this? On an issue like this, I always ring my doc. Uh, my doctor's that guy, uh, Lance O'Sullivan. Really? And I, I texted him today and he said... Um, New Zealand of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said, make it mandatory. And, and one of the arguments for making it mandatory is because poor people, they don't even really... They don't sit down and say, now, what are the consequences here? What is the upsides? What are the costs, etc., etc.? If they, if they don't have to spend any money on it, if they don't have to do, they do just it, not they bother. don't do it. No, no, they don't bother. And that's a worry. That's a real worry because I, I actually agree with what they're saying, that it, it shouldn't be mandatory. Also because but if it's Lance mandatory... But Lance Sullivan, New yes, Zealand right. of the Year... You know, no, also because if it's mandatory, then everybody, you know where it's going to get started first. And as they bring in new drugs and new drugs, you know where the mandatory is going to start first. It's going to start on poor people. So that's a worry for me and the community I have.